in this lecture we are going to consider the other simple Markovian queuing models as a application of a continuous time Markov chain. So, in this lecture I am planning to discuss other than MM1 queuing model, I am going to discuss a simple Markovian queuing models starting with the MMC infinity queuing model, then the finite uh, capacity model Markovian setup, MM1N queuing model, then I am going to discuss the multi server finite capacity model that is MMCK queuing model. After that I am going to discuss the loss system that is MMCC model for an infinite uh, server model that is MM infinity also I am going to discuss. At the end I am going to discuss the finite source Markovian queuing model also whereas the other uh, 5 uh, models uh, the population is infinite source. So, the last one is a finite source Markovian queuing model also I am going to discuss as the application of continuous time Markov chain. The first model is a multi server infinite capacity Markovian queuing model. The letter m denotes uh, the inter arrival time is uh, exponentially distributed with parameter lambda. The service time by the each server that is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu and all we have a uh, more than one uh, servers. Suppose you consider as a C where C is a positive integer and uh, all the servers are identical and each server is uh, doing the service which is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu which is independent of the all other servers and the service time is independent with the inter arrival time also. With these assumptions, if you make a random variable uh, x of t is the number of customers in the system at any time t that is a stochastic process. Since the possible values of number of customers in the system at any time t that is going to be 0, 1, 2 and so on, therefore it is a discrete state and you are observing the queuing system at a any time t therefore, it is a continuous time. So, discrete state continuous time stochastic process and if you observe the system is a keep moving into the different states because of uh, either arrival or the service completion from the any one of the C servers. So, suppose uh, there are uh, no customer in the system the system moves from the state 0 to 1 by 1 arrival. So, the inter arrival time is exponentially distributed therefore, the rate in which the system is moving from the state 0 to 1 is lambda. Like that you can visualize the rates for a system moving from 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and so on. Whereas, uh, whenever the system size is uh, 1, 2 and so on till c, since we have a c number of servers in the system, whoever is entering into the system they will get they will start getting the service immediately. Suppose the system goes from state 1 to 0 that means the customer enter into the system and he get the service immediately and the service time is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu therefore, whenever the service is completed the system goes from the state 1 to 0 therefore, the rate is mu whereas, uh, from 2 to 1 there are 2 customers in the system and both are under service at any time in if any one of the servers if any one of the servers complete his service then the system moves from 2 to 1. So, the service completion will be minimum of a uh, the service time of the both the servers. Since each server is doing the service exponentially distributed with the parameter mu, 
therefore the minimum of uh, two exponential and both are independent also therefore that is also going to be exponentially distributed with the sum of parameters so it is going to be parameter will be mu plus mu that is 2 mu so the system moves from the state 2 to 1 will be the rate will be 2 mu like that it will be keep going till the state from c to c minus 1 that means we have c servers therefore whenever the system size is also less than or equal to c that means uh, all the customers are under service now we will discuss the rate in which the system is moving from the state c plus 1 to c the system state is a c plus 1 that means in the number of customers in the system that is c plus 1 we have c servers therefore one customer will be waiting for the service waiting in the queue therefore the system is moving from c plus 1 to c that is nothing but one of the server completed the service out of c servers therefore the ser the rate will be the service time completion service time will be exponential distribution with the parameter c mu not c plus 1 mu it is a we have only c servers therefore the minimum of uh, exponentially distributed with the parameters mu and so on with the c exponentially distributed random variables therefore that is going to be exponential distribution with the parameter mu plus mu plus there are c mu therefore it is going to be c mu like that the rate will be the death rate will be c mu after c plus 1 onwards whereas uh, from 0 to c it will be mu 2 mu 3 mu and so on till c mu after that uh, it will be a c mu from the state from c c plus 1 to c c plus 2 to c plus 1 and so on and if you see the state transition diagram you can observe that this is a birth death process so before that uh, I let me explain what is the mmc infinity means uh, whenever uh, c customers or uh, c servers or uh, any one of the c servers are available then the customers will get the service immediately if all the c servers are busy then the customer has to wait till any one of the c servers are going to be completing their service so that is the way the system works therefore you will have the system size the system size uh, the underlying stochastic process is going to be a birth death process as a it is a special case of a continuous time Markov chain because the transitions are only the neighbors transition with the forward rates that is lambda and the backward rates or the death rates are going to be mu to mu and so on therefore this is a special case of a continuous time Markov chain the underlying stochastic process for the mmc infinity model that is a birth death process the birth rates are lambda whereas the death rates depends on the n the mu n is a function of n therefore it is called a state dependent death rates it need not be the function n times mu it can be a function of n then we can use the word state dependent so here it is a linear function so state dependent death rates and the death rates are n times mu whenever n is lies between 1 to c and the mu n is going to be c times mu for n is greater than or equal to c that you can observe it from the state transition diagram also the death rates are going to be c mu here also c mu and so on therefore this is a birth death process with the state dependent death rates now our interest is to find out the steady state or equilibrium solution since it is a infinite capacity model if you observe the birth death process with the infinite uh, state space then you need a condition so that the steady state uh, probabilities exist so whenever lambda by c mu is less than 1 whenever lambda by c mu is less than 1 you can find out the 
limiting probabilities. So, sometimes I use the letter p n, sometimes I use the word pi n, both are one and the same. So, you find out the steady state probability by solving a pi q is equal to p q is equal to 0 and the summation of a p a is equal to 1. And if you recall the birth-death process of steady state probabilities, the pi naught has the 1 divided by the series, whenever the denominator series converges, then you will get the p n's. So, either I use a p n's or pi n's both are one and the same. So, here summation of a p a is equal to 1 and the p, if you make a vector p, p times a q is equal to 0, if you solve that equation and the denominator of a p naught, that expression that is going to be converges only if a lambda divided by c mu is less than 1. So, therefore, whenever this condition is there, the queuing system is stable also. If you put c is equal to 1, you will get the mm 1 q. So, using the normalizing condition, you are getting the p naught and the p naught is 1 divided by this. So, this is a series. So, this series is going to be converges only if this condition is satisfied. So, by solving that equations, you are getting p n s in terms of p naught and using normalizing uh, constant, you are getting a p naught. Therefore, this is a steady state also known as the equilibrium solution for the MMC infinity model. So, here we are using the birth death process with the birth rates are lambda and the death rates are given in the this form and use the same logic of the stationary distribution for the birth death process using that we are getting the steady state or equilibrium solution for the MMC model.